Brady ended his relationship with an ex-girlfriend seven years ago. We said, yes, go back out. She had reached back out and uh, said, update us. And yeah. so now we have a second chance. You get closure. Yep, One of the now two. we have the update. OK, he says, hey, guys, wow. Thanks for featuring me and for reaching back out. I had no idea I would get such a response. There you go. I took your advice and went back out with her. All right. It was so weird. It started with us both being nervous, but that went away after a drink. Mm -hmm. Spent hours catching up. That's cool. The weird part is how comfortable we both were and how everything clicked. Mm -hmm. This was a first for me. After a relationship ends, that's it. I move on. I felt a lot of old feelings come back almost instantly, but knowing that we're two different people, I had to restrain myself from letting the natural instincts take over. Right. I couldn't just reach over and kiss her. I couldn't just touch her. I couldn't put my hands on her legs and say filthy things to her, LOL. (laughs) I had to behave like I would with someone I just met. That's true. That was weird. That threw me off. That would. We talked about that at the end of the night, and she gave me the green light through body language and flirting to go in for a kiss. Mm. We're going out again sometime soon. It was a nice date. Thank you. Ah, there you go. Yay! I can totally see that, though, being weird, where especially if you guys had history, but it was seven years ago. Right. It's like you know each other, but you have to... Treat there's, it like there's still those boundaries. Yeah, you got to yeah. go back to the boundaries exactly. from the v- beginning of the relationship. Exactly. I could I couldn't say filthy things to her. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Well, maybe date two or three. Yeah, yeah, right, right, we'll exactly, <laughs> exactly. Maybe, maybe uh, you know, you won't have to wait as long to get back into that part of your relationship but that you see, did the first it's going time. Well. That is good, though. Thanks for the update, Brady. I appreciate That's that. awesome. Yeah. Anybody else have a good getting back with my ex story? Because uh, so many times... and there I are married s- mine, so that's good. That is true. Yeah. That is true. You did. You have a good getting back with your ex story. Yeah. It was kind of like, you know, I, I, I feel like it could have been a Hallmark movie. Maybe we should write our story down and we could get sold it to a Hallmark channel and then we could, you know, retire. <laughs> It was a cool fall evening. At McDonald's. At McDonald's. <laughs> Bardstown and Taylor's Hill Road. Is that where you guys got back together? Yeah, or I was when... literally doing oh. a broadcast for two hours. <laughs> and we stay after that was over, like he shows up, he walks through the door. Oh. My heart goes, oh, oh wait, wait, wait. What's Sorry. he doing here? Wait, what, yeah, what happened to my Sorry. music? Okay. He he walks through the door. Her heart skips a beat. Mm. What's he doing here? I'm at work. I'm at work. Maybe he needs a burger. Maybe it's more. I just need a quarter pounder and cheese (laughs) and to talk to you. (laughs) We sat there in a booth for a couple of hours after work was over. Oh. And that is where our lives changed. Forever. We talked about we've been down this road before. Not going down it again unless you know it's forever. It's forever. And you're going to have to apologize to a couple people in my life. You're going to have to apologize. <laughs> and he did. He did. And they rode off into the sun and they got married and they had a couple kids and everything's great. Yay. I'm going to work on the ending. All right. You work gonna, on the ending. That was... I got to work on the ending a little bit. <laughs> so so that was uh, that was not the Tony Melito effect. Yeah. No. I understand. <laughs> Things happen. The past is the past. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I didn't have that button to push. <laughs> you didn't have that button to push. <laughs> All right. Anybody else have a good one? Uh, 502-795-1997. We've got a couple stories to get to coming up here in just a moment. We're talking anyone getting, uh, have a good getting back together with my ex story. Got a text from Lisa said, I have a nightmare story about getting back together with my narcissistic ex about 10 times. Will that work? Oh, <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> hashtag didn't learn the first nine times. Let's see if a 10th will work. But finally broke the cycle. Yeah, that's that's the important thing. Chrissy, yes, you uh, got there eventually. She messaged and said, hey, you know what, Kelly? I have married my ex, too. So things awesome. possible. That's good. Um, Dana said, my boyfriend and I dated and broke up back in February of 2020, took time. Then we slowly built a friendship for nine months. That was tough. 
Then he came to me after I moved to another city talking about us going all in. Sound familiar, Kelly? Uh huh. Yeah, we have moved in together so far. It's been great. If neither one of us worked on ourselves in toxic patterns, it would have never worked out. I think breakup, makeup relationships work work only when both parties are willing to put in the work. But it's a lot of work. People would rather try again with someone new. With us, we're best friends. Well, that's good. That's good. That's good. Look at that. We're showing that it is actually possible, like maybe Brady is hoping to see. To get back with an ex. He's and, off to a good start. Sarah said, my, my ex came back recently after seven months apart. Mm-hmm. He was the one who broke it off with me. I was very upset. Tried quite a few times to get back with him, but he wasn't having it. Mm. I was literally at the point of just accepting that he didn't want me a part of his life and essentially gave up hope. Then he reached out wanting to meet up and have a conversation. Okay. We spent over 12 hours together and had a fantastic time reconnecting. Uh Uh-huh. He said he realized how great of a match we were. It still doesn't feel real. We're going to take it slow and see how it goes. All right. That's cool, Sarah. Anyone else listening to Kelly talking about Sarah's story and thinking to yourself, he was dating someone else? And then broke up and then called Sarah again? Maybe. Sorry, that's just the where where my brain went. Listen, though, Sarah's in a good spot She's in a right good now. Spot. You let's, let her figure it out. Listen, it's the Tony Melito effect. Yeah, uh-huh. I understand. Things happen. The past is the past. So if he was, doesn't matter. It's the future. Sometimes it takes going out with other people to make you realize what you had. I'm like, you know what? Nope. She actually was the right one. Yeah. Jamie said, went to my senior prom with my now wife. We had broken up after high school, then ran back into each other a few years later. Have been together 17 years, married for eight in October. Oh, that's, that's awesome. kind of cool. Yeah. It goes on and says, it's cool to have pictures from us in high school. That is great. That is kind of cool. And that's, and that's a lot rare, of too, to be able yeah. to like marry your high school sweetheart. I have several friends of mine who did marry their high school sweetheart. And they've been together. And they're still together. They're still together. Look at that. It's crazy. All right. That's good stuff. Yeah. Several. And then several like high school friends that didn't necessarily date in high school, but got together after high school and have been married forever. Oh, see, you know what? I've seen that in happen with like the five year, 10 year reunions. Yeah. Where uh, people come back to the reunions, kind of reconnect and then start dating after that. There's a couple of people I was like, I did not see that coming. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, exactly. So anyways, good stories. Thanks for that. It's 9970JX.